Thank you for being a current or future Sim Experience customer and welcome to our tutorial video on how to set up Project Cars 2 for use with Sim Commander and Sim Experience products. First up, launch Project Cars 2 to enable shared memory. To do so, from the main menu, go to Options and then click the box that says System Configure the Game's Interaction with External Apps. Then set Shared Memory to Project Cars 2. The UDP settings have no effect on Sim Commander. Now close Project Cars 2. Launch Sim Commander and make sure you are logged into the Owners Club to get the most current update. Once you are logged in, you should see the update downloading here. Once the update is completed, make sure to install it. You should now have version 4.0.0.92 or higher. Once the update is installed, go to Control Center and from here click Auto Discover. It should then add a game entry and default profile for Project Cars 2 if you have it installed. If you're not seeing it, try to manually map your Steam folder by going to Control Center, Settings, Advanced, and navigating to it from this dialog box. After you've mapped your Steam folder, then try to go back to the Manage Sim Set of tabs and click Auto Discover again. You should now have a Project Cars 2 profile. Now launch the game from the Project Cars 2 profile in Sim Commander and you should now have Motion and Sim Vibe. If you are using an AccuForce, keep watching for instructions on how to map your controls. Now that you've added a profile for Project Cars 2 and Sim Commander, launch the game and the first thing you do is go to Options, then Controls, make sure the type is set to Wheel, then Model is Custom Wheel. Most likely you will set Pedal Type to Separate. If you have your pedals connected into the AccuForce controller, select Combined. Once you've changed those options, go to Edit Assignments. Click on Steering Left, turn the wheel all the way to the stop at the left, and then start turning it back to the right, and then you should see it mapped. Then do the opposite for Steering Right. Now map your pedals here as well, and then go to the gear up and map it to your right paddle shifter and then map your gear down by engaging your left paddle shifter. Now go back to the control scheme and calibrate your wheel. You are now ready to race in Project Cars 2 with your AccuForce. I hope this tutorial worked for you and you enjoy racing in Project Cars 2 with your Sim Experience product.